the hell did you think was gonna happen? You think I'm that stupid? What do you think? I'm cold hearted? What the hell did you- Jesus, relax! I just like a little GTA here and there. Now, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Of course, also, to let you know, we'll be streaming live tonight on Twitch.tv slash don't be care with Raiders franchise, and afterwards, we play non-matted stuff like, not GTA, but other games. Please don't cancel me. It's, please. We are back with another video today in our Las Vegas Raiders franchise. It's about to be week seven, coming off of a, you know, I mean, not a crazy win over Denver, but we're winning. That's really all that matters is we're winning. However, but going into week seven with a very, very heavy heart as we are going to be going in with a brand new wide receiver number potentially one two it kind of depends the uh, the load's going to be shared by multiple players we did add a new wide receiver because henry ruggs in practice got pushed out of bounds and he was running on his own speed he tried to slow down could not do it tripped and he smashed his head into the wall causing permanent brain damage which of course is going to end his nfl career we released him he gets the eight mil so fair enough but he's done henry ruggs is done we are now entering yet another new chapter no Derek carr no this no that and overall this is a team that is constantly battling adversity after adversity and we're gonna have to try to do it again three and three of course a tough schedule a tough situation to deal with but we have to push forward. The new name in town is Deshaun Jackson. Maybe a controversial name himself, but he always seems to be able to get the job done. Is he good enough to get us to the playoffs? At least try to salvage the season as much as possible. We're obviously going to be targeting wide receiver tenfold now. We already were thinking about it with uh, you know Edwards, with uh, Renfro. There's a question mark at every single wide wide receiver position on this team, especially this position now. But like I said, with Deshaun Jackson, he gives us a veteran stability, a guy that can teach some of the other guys, maybe even like the personal tutor to Cooper himself, a guy that honestly might be the most promising wide receiver going into next season, as he is also a very fast guy. He's young, plenty of potential. McKenzie gonna have to do it again bro of course you still have waller you still have uh you know an offensive line that's actually played all right not terrible and then defense if we can get this pass rush to play like we know they can the sky's the limit and uh yeah we're just gonna have to keep trying the good thing is this is all before the trade deadline so we still have a chance if need be to potentially make a wild trade to get some playmakers or playmaker and uh, obviously, only thing left to do is go straight to the Saints. So for the weekly awards, Buckner with four sacks, Robinson with a you know decent rush, five touchdowns. Oh my, that's pretty good actually. Kirk Cousins and then Warner, Warner with the uh, the worst day of all four, but you know he still got on the list. <laughs> all that matters, gets XP for that, and everything is good. We have some upgrades, and uh, we also probably have some new Ch Saints roster to look at. So a bunch of players with upgrades, not necessarily like important players, but we're going to do the ones that are important. Max Crosby with a plus one to finesse, plus one to excel. We'll take the pursuit, we'll take the tackle. 85 finesse now. He's he's improved this year for sure, so I'm glad to see it. Want to see him take another step though. And damn it with these freaking injuries. Practice injury, hit pointer out a week, good coverage for Diablo. He's been off to a slower start than once would have thought. Uh, Arthur Ramsey, the former tight end or wide receiver, switched to tight end. Uh, oh, I didn't think about that. Could he go back to wide receiver? Back to what? I did not think about that. We had too many wide receivers. Now we have none. We have options. We have options. We'll think about what we can do going forward if we need to. Maybe Deshaun Watson just fits right in and just goes off. Uh, and then we have one more upgrade, Mr. Gresham, who I believe is developing as a power, right? He has spin and bowl, so I guess it doesn't really matter too much, but I think bowl rush is probably a little bit better. We have a lot of finesse guys around here, so let's go with a new guy. Gresham, plus one, a power move, kind of iffy. And the rest, we'll actually just upgrade auto. Here it is, a nighttime game, literally with everyone's eyes on it. It is uh, the game of the, the night. Is it a Thursday night or a Sunday night? Either way. It's a prime time game with everything going on around here. This is uh, this is really a tough situation for McKenzie to be in, and obviously, 
we're hoping he's ready because once again this is the guy we're hoping is the future of the team he wouldn't be out there as the starter if he wasn't and obviously the new name Deshaun Jackson how much will he play how much will he do you know new to the team obviously new to the playbooks but at the end of the day you know we know what Deshaun Jackson does and that is run fast so uh, it doesn't take much to run a straight line at times or whatever it may be Jacob's also a guy that can relieve the duties of the quarterback and the receivers. I'm just hoping for, you know, a game with as least amount of uh, interceptions as possible. Of course, on the other side, Josh Rosen, their starter. I can't imagine that's that's by choice. I just don't see him being the starter for a team at this point. I feel like he would have had his chance, but maybe this is his chance. I don't know. Maybe there's... Maybe there is an injury. Maybe there's not. Maybe they believe in him in some way. Either way, let's uh, let's get into this one. Hopefully, they get the ball first. So uh, if Rosen struggles, we won't feel as bad. All right, Daniel Carlson, one of the most consistent players on the team. Buddy's the kicker. Kicking it deep as Callaway will kneel this one down. Let's take a look. Let's see if this is a joke or Rosen's the real deal. Okay. I like it. Josh Rosen, 12 touchdowns of four picks, just under 1,800 yards. Uh, completing what seems to be 70 plus percent is that that's kind of quick maths but that actually looked pretty close at least 65 to 70 way up there not bad and they're not gonna freaking run it and he gets it out there and there goes Alvin Kamara turning into a five yard gain I mean that's tough that is right up the middle, right in your face, instantly. And Rosen was able to freaking deliver it. Of course, they have a sick offensive line as well. So this is the perfect landing spot. And once again, as he's being hit, dumps it off to Kamara. The quarterback's wet dream, as we like to call him sometimes. Gets a gain of 13 after five. And now we have uh, Thomas on the inside, Mullen all over him. Is this the run? Three plays in a row where Kamara is going to touch the ball, and there is no one in sight. One to beat, and we miss. We freaking miss, and then he spins out of it. Oh, my. I thought we had the pop. I just didn't think you go with a conservative on Kamara, you're bringing him down. I wanted the home run hit, and it was just a complete miss. Oh, there goes Cooper. Nice little return to the 24. Of course, we want Deshaun back there, but... You know, he's not the youngest guy in the world anymore. I'm worried about it. And speaking of oof, um, Dwayne McKenzie. Let's just not talk about it. And inside there goes Foster Moreau gaining a good chunk of yardage, almost 19 yards on the play. Good play right out the gate. I actually really like Foster Moreau, even though there really should be no reason for me. He's past his chance to, to develop. He's number two tight end on this team. Never will be any more than that. And I still just like him. Josh Jacobs gaining two on what really was just nowhere to go. Quick throw, and that is a terrible throw. Speaking of, Waller, obviously, he'll be able to save pretty much any bad plays. So, gets the first down there. Not clean, though. Not liking it. Jacobs to the outside, and once again, Demario Davis all over it, man. That guy is also an ageless wonder. All right, play action look. You have Deshaun on that outside there. Not really getting open on the run. That's a great throw, and guess who? Foster Moreau again. Who would have thought when there was an opportunity that it would be the backup tight end answering the call? First and 10 from the 26-yard line. McKenzie, quick throw underneath to Renfro. Gains about five, maybe six. Wanted that outside look to Deshaun. I really want to get him involved in this game. Uh, but obviously, they're they're kind of locking him up pretty well here. And did they just not? Oh, that's interesting. Could be Waller. Deshaun Jackson touchdown. The crossing pattern kind of got the guy bumped off, and Deshaun Jackson easily scores. And there goes Kamara wide open, and I guess maybe a hit stick wouldn't have saved us. Maybe I don't feel as bad about missing that hit stick because Kamara just stiff armed right off of him, anyways. Tanner Muse. I'm actually really glad we have Tanner Muse still. He's kind of a guy that we don't think about too often. Never really gave him too much of a chance, but actually is a pretty decent player. And uh, who knows? You never know. Just saying. Second and five up the middle. Should have went for the quarterback, but thought he was going to get that out to Kamara because we left him. He was going for that all day. Not the worst decision in the world, but maybe we would have got to him in time. I don't know. Crosby. Come on, Crosby. Help. Up there. 
And he dropped it. Oh, my. It takes a lot of players to stop that man, Thomas. Deshaun Jackson on the return. Ooh. Kind of crunched. Is that Kayvon Wallace? Wallace crunched the whole team there. Inside handoff. Jacob showing off that speed. Oh, my. Look at Jacobs. Stiff arm. All the way to the 42. Not even the greatest blocks, but he was burning. Holy crap. That is the fastest I've ever seen Jacobs. Ah, I should have taken Deshaun. Kenyon Drake. Want to beat? Ah, oh, it's Demario. Damn, dude. Nobody in sight if he breaks that tackle. But, you know, let's, and let's be honest. What is this play? We're calling time. I have some trash. We have Waller. Deshaun Jackson can't get the ball off. That was, I mean, that's good reading of the defense. It's just ran out of time. Renfro down the middle. Who expects him to be the deep look? Especially with Deshaun on the team now. And I had Waller. I will say we had Waller, but with that throw to Jacobs on third and super long, we are able to, you know, at least set up for the field goal. So maybe not the worst case in the world once uh, Daniel Carlson hits this. I was about to say if he hits it, but let's, you know. Let's stick to what we know, and what we know is Daniel Carlson doesn't miss. And he's wide open to the outside. Trayvon is going to get him, but not really a big hit. Push them straight down on their back. Oh, Clellan. Oh, that's going to be picked. Oh, my! Abram! And he misses the tackle! Another huge touchdown! What are we doing? Abram's there for the pick. And he literally gets mossed. Like, he actually gets mossed. Play action, I kind of like it. Could go back to Deshaun. Oh, it's not play action. There goes Deshaun, and that is a terrible throw again. Deshaun's like, bruh, why did I agree to this? What did I do? What did I do? That's what I'd be thinking, at least. Demario Davis isn't going to fall for this. He doesn't need to, because McKenzie's got some speed, and he gets about nine. QB draw leading to an outside run of nine not bad actually good recovery on that awful throw to deshaun that would have been an easy first down third and one deshaun uh, not deshaun not everything's deshaun uh, jackson that's josh jacobs get up what is he doing i think he thought he was down but he wasn't he was on the back of garner johnson and jacobs and deshaun already kind of you know feeling it they already love each other i love it play action to the weak side which is i mean not easy to read i suppose and there goes Deshaun again. That's a terrible throw. No way he got those feet down. This man's insane. I think he did. His little freaking spike feet went straight into the ground like a carrot. Look at this. God damn. And there goes Jacobs, but he gets some help. So only a gain of three. Almost the end of the first, but there has been a lot of scoring. Waller the outside. Don't get me wrong, Demario. I respect you, but I mean, let's all be honest. Age catches us all. Age catches us all. He's played really well. He's decreased a little bit. We've been actually attacking him a lot. I would feel bad, but I don't. So there's that. And there you go again. That's hit. I mean, he has to cover multiple there, so I'm not going to blame him, but Foster Moreau, who's up to probably about 50 yards, maybe 60 at this point, gets it to the 12. Play action has been massive. It has actually been so good. There's a play called Scat. I'm not into Scat, I promise. And there goes Deshaun, sit down, gets down to the four. A lot of moving pieces, a lot of quick throws, a lot of play action. It all starts with the freaking ground game. This is a read option that's probably just gonna be a handoff every day of the week. And, oh wow, that's, shouldn't have, uh, shouldn't have talked anything to Demario Davis. He stopped us for nothing. All right, see, does Deshaun want number two? Oh, I didn't see Deshaun got open at the last second. Deshaun's gonna request a freaking release. He's gonna, he's gonna be, he's gonna request a trade, which is really strange for someone that was a free agent. Yikes, dude. I mean, Deshaun looks super covered, and then you know, of course, Waller was in front of him. Ah, that's an L. That's an L. He broke free literally right as I needed to throw it. I know he's new to the team, but I still should have trusted him. He's already been one of our most productive receivers, and it's only, like, halfway through the first game he's played for us. Come on, Clellan. Can we stop Kamara to under five yards at all any time today? Please. I think you drop back uh, Crosby here. 
because we don't ever do that, so it'd probably catch him off guard. And Max Crosby almost got stiff-armed by Camara, but with the teamwork, we're actually going to force it to third and inches. Uh, um, man coverage, I guess. Oh, we got burned. Our neck, good try. Damn it, dude. To the outside, and that is wide open. Michael Thomas. Abram in man coverage just isn't a good idea ever. Middle linebacker for Abram. Who the hell would be our freaking safety then, though? Trayvon really low, and it worked out. Gresham, the rookie, with a sack. I do not know why Rosen's not throwing that away. You are not that guy, pal. You are not that guy. Oh, he's got him open in the middle. No, he doesn't, and Abram... I would have loved to see him actually have a chance to catch that because Abram could have redeemed himself with a huge hit stick. Maybe even force a fumble and recover for a touchdown. Yeah, Abram in coverage. Abram past five yards is not a good idea. Ah, Deshaun tried to cut it back left. It was the smart call. The only way you were going to get anything significant. And Kenyon Drake, yeah, they're... Wow, Cam Jordan, please relax. After a couple of decent runs, they're, they're really stopping the ground game pretty well here. And we're running away from Cam Jordan. He got there. Like, imagine to his side. There goes Jacobs. That's like the one play that works for us is the dives up the middle and the, the trap plays. You know, Jacobs' numbers look really good, but you take away that one crazy run and, you know, we're not looking at the same situation here. Edwards on the double move. I was hoping it was going to be Deshaun. Edwards, I mean, he's open, but not crazy open. And there goes Deshaun again and... Darren Waller almost crushed Deshaun on the comeback. Thought it was his ball, and it wasn't. Great play by Deshaun. They're going to challenge this. I get it, because we're kind of crushing him down the field. You know, if we don't get time to throw, we're definitely not doing as well as we have. There's just no doubt about it. Look at that. That was close. I think that left foot's in. That left foot should have been in. It's not in. I really want to take this shot to Deshaun, but we're going to run it instead. What a cutback. Oh, it's beautiful. That is a beautiful cut. Read option. And it was a risky one because Jacobs gets the first down most likely. We still got it, but is this just Sean? This is a tough read. You got DeMario staring right down on you. To the outside, Edwards gains about five or six. I mean, the McKenzie's delivering. I can't lie. I mean, these are a lot of throws where you maybe need a little bit of throw power to get away with them. And he's, I mean, he's making a count. I'm going to switch the side. I like the... Like Edwards deep over there, have a chance for Drake. Waller, oh my, did not see that guy at all. Is that Lattimore? It had to be. Somebody made an instinctive play there that uh, that almost had the ball going the other way. Screen pass to Jacobs on third and three. I don't like that. I don't like the call, Chief. And that's just great pressure. Step back a little bit. That's pretty good coverage. That's pretty damn good. There's really not a play that I was feeling was guaranteed yardage there. They've stopped the run a lot of the times. They obviously stacked quite a bit. Maybe should have had a drag. It's like the one regret I have. Punt is okay. Nothing crazy. Damn, that's good D, dude. Clellan. Nice spin. Oh my, it's not a nice spin. Oh, there was nothing nice about that. He got slammed to the ground. Jeez. It's pretty rough. I like it rough sometimes. Abram. And they keep taking that left side, but I mean, what are we supposed to do? Hey, at the end of the day, there's not a whole lot of clock here before half. If they keep taking that look, they're not getting down the field in time to score anything. This time, Clellan wins it. And I think that's out. No way. Booth review that. Really? Am I getting scammed? We're at home. The NFL is probably rigging this. Do you count that as a, as a foot? I mean, I guess you probably do. I mean, that's... I don't know, dude. That's tough. Hey, Ram, you just play deep. No one wants to see you in trouble. Gresham's trying. All over it is Kwiatkowski. What a punch, dude. And I miss. I knew it. I drove down on that ball because that's where I knew he was going to go. I let the guy go behind me, and I still just sold. Oh, my. No, no, no. Switch quick. Just keep him. There's some pressure. Rosen on the run. No way. I mean, that's just all the D-line. That's just the D-line. What can you do? What could, what, what could you do? You know? 
Oh, there goes Clown Insta, and once again, he goes back to his safety valve. What the hell is that? Yo! What the hell was that? Got beat. And we missed. Damn, Troutman's a god! He just shuck off that freaking, uh, that, that press attempt, and then just ran. Bong. We have, uh, 37 seconds left, two timeouts. I mean, I think, I think you go for this, right? Pretty good. There you go, Waller. My guy. Slips out of it, gains some more yards, and gets out of bounds, which is actually really, like, just a huge situation. Uh, Jacobs could go to him if he's open. Renfro at number two just isn't a good look. And I can't get that out to, uh, Waller. Jeez, Demario is hitting hard, dude. Inside, we have some, you know, we have some timeouts. We're running out of clock anyways, so just try to get down there. Waller, come move to the... Jesus! Tries Renfro didn't get in trouble there. And that's going to be picked off to my, by Demario. Throw out a sack. God damn it, dude. Come on, Reed. Oh, we can force... Oh, Merrick with the recovery. Okay, that's huge. That is huge. Merrick gets the hit stick on Thomas, and we recover it. I'm just going to run the ball. After that interception, I'm running it. Just no shot. Depends. I mean, now you kind of have to take the Hail Mary, right? Before, I wasn't going to, but now I do. Got the Sean there as well. I don't think McKenzie gets us to the end zone, though. Not even going to get the throw off. Are you serious? Waller catches it. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I mean, it's... Okay. Looking at the uh, the numbers, obviously they're up by eight. Uh, you know, just not not the defensive performance we wanted before half, but still winnable. It's just, I know, defense, it's been a huge problem for us. As far as what we need to do, I think we're going to go to run inside. I think we need to just run it all over them. And then, is there one that allows me to get, like, way better freaking uh, run, like, runs at the quarterback? That's our issue. We just can't get to the quarterback. That's literally the only issue. If we can get to the quarterback, I mean, our team is definitely doing better than it has the last few weeks. And we have pretty good coverage. We just, you know, have to cover for so long. And, wow, Cooper just gets leveled. It's hard to tell. And that is absolutely 100% pass interference. You have the right to the space, but you don't have the right to bump him off and then your teammate tries to get the pick. I would have been furious if he would have picked that off. And Waller gets the catch and holds on. That man is a lover of good things. What? Mackenzie up the middle, and he squirts out of it. I hear announcers say it all the time. It makes me cringe. Now I'm making you cringe. I kind of needed one a little bit. And there goes Mackenzie again. Back-to-back -back runs for nearly 20 yards. I'll try. I mean, we'll see. Jacobs. Damn it. Oh, God damn it. But I appreciate that time. It really means a lot. I mean, we had options. You got to take that. Oh, my. Mackenzie, could you... Almost put that on the money. Wow. Two things there. Um, one, how the hell is Zach Bond keeping up with Waller there? And, and then two, the obvious, how did that almost come down? Waller. My man's right on the money this time. It just seems like McKenzie is slightly under or slightly over on the throws every single time. It's strange. Oh, they're going to say he didn't catch it. I knew that right foot looked suspect. A little overthrown. It's been working for McKenzie, but this time it costs us a possession and most likely points, which at the end of the day with the clock and the, 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 the score and them having a drive here could cost us the game. This is a tough one, but we need pressure. No way. Who is this whitey? Oh my god, Trey Quinn is that? No way, dude. We had him with Kwiatkowski, we blew him up and it didn't happen? Damn. Clellan using all the moves in the repertoire. Can't do it, just can't do it. We cover Troutman and then we run over, damn it. So we're, he's reacting so quick, Josh Rosen's crushing it, dude. Oh damn, that was quick. 
Kamara. Oh, he missed. Thank God Kwiatkowski was there to help. Oh, we got some pressure. Get over there, Javen. Okay, good enough. Third and two now. Defense is really struggling. Once again, it's the pressure. It's the pr We're bringing so much heat. And we just can't do it, dude. Behind the play. And there's no one. Where is that guy running to? Kill him. Huge hit by Abram. I have no idea where the guy in the flat's running to. What is he doing? It's Trayvon Mullen. Where is he going? We have it covered. What is he doing? Oh my god. Force him to make a throw. Don't give him the wide open lane. That's what zone coverage is. We have that turnaround. Bring him down, please. All the time in the world to throw again. Damn it, dude. But outside their favorite spot, I will say that is going to be short. Not that I'm saying a field goal absolutely, you know, keeps us in this game, but it, I mean, it obviously for one does, but two, you know, there's a lot of clock on the freaking clock. That's what's, yep. Get over there, Trayvon. Trayv! Touchdown. Touchdown, Troutman. Everyone's just, everyone's just freaking discounting this guy, discrediting this guy, and he just walks in. Cooper on the return. And oh my god, we, we ran it back into the tight end that just killed someone. Damn it, dude. I waited on Waller because I thought because he was so open, it was going to make the defense hesitate and Deshaun would have been wide. You know, Waller's getting a first down there. If Deshaun gets open on his man coverage one-on-one, -on -one, I mean, we're talking potential 30, 40, 50 yards, you know, with his speed. And really good blocking as Jacob's going to bust one free. Man, Hunter Renfro, look at those blocks. 10 for 100. Jacob's kind of, you know, a product of his environment here right now, but we will take what we can get. And here we go with Deshaun on the touch pass. There goes Deshaun. Really not looking that fast. I ain't even going to lie. Gains four, but had a chance to almost lose yards there. That was kind of surprising. And that's a panic throw. Oh, good job. Jeez, that was close. Adebo almost had a chance at a pick six there. Saw a Waller on the inside, but I had two mines, and I kind of just floated it. That was a choke. Thank God it didn't come up to a pick. That would have been GG. As DeMario actually stopped us. Question is, do I trust? Jacobs barely gets it, dude. That... DeMario, please stop, dude. Stop it. I don't know what I did, but I'll give you your money, man. Just give me another week. Please. This is me a throwaway. Damn it, dude. I saw Deshaun. I just saw Jacobs, but I also saw the offensive line collapsing instantly, as it has many a time. Deshaun to the end zone could be our look. We have the double drag. Ramsey. Guy we thought maybe putting back at wide receiver. Skirts the tightrope there. Not bad. Gains the first down. Good stuff. What is that look, though? I don't understand. Is that a hold? It's a terrible throw by McKenzie is what it is. This pretty much is a relocation franchise with the freaking talent we have. Quick throw to Waller. Get more than the first down back, so... Considering uh, we missed the throw, not the worst outcome, that hold. Not gonna lie. Whoever did that, good work. I know you did it on purpose. Quick throw to Jacobs. Well, if you want to call that a quick throw, a nice little cut spin on number 12. That's what you get for wearing number 12 as a defender. Read option, which will never look easy. It's not going to look easy. We're going to run right up the middle. RPO look, though, so we do have that option. What? Get him. Thank you, Drake. I thought holding A was just to give him the ball. Was A a route? That's just a mis... That's just a miscommunication. Inside, good job for once. I thought we were handing off to the running back or throwing it to, to Renfro. I saw Renfro. Maybe it was a chance, but Waller ends up getting the ball there. That was... Was he actually an option? The running back is open. Come on. Damn it, Mullen. I get it's not easy, right? But you can't let some random white guy no one's ever heard of just do that to you. I will say it is, once again, a huge hit by Kwiatkowski. It is the Saints offensive line. Those tackles are literally the best tackles in the league and they're nearly impossible to beat and i mean their guards are not half bad either clellan get a hit stick 
At this point, Abram, I don't care what you do. If you miss the tackle, I don't care, but you gotta go for the hit, uh, hit, hit dick. I mean, that, that also works, in fairness. I'd imagine they'd fumble. And is that a late hit on the quarterback by Max Crosby? I mean, you might as well call the game over at that point. What is he doing, dude? That was Jaron Reed, actually. Wow. And there goes another drag route. Great tackle by Merrick, but it's just not going to matter. They are dicing us up. They're like a vacuum cleaner. Damn, dude, these little quick throws to the outside. How much yards does Troutman have? Even after late hit, and he still doesn't go down. He shouldn't even been expecting to be hit there. I changed my tune. The defense hasn't been great, but yeah, offense needed to do better than they did today, and we just, we didn't. And Trayvon will get him out there, but... I mean, their guard is handling everyone. I mean, they're all just giving another try. Don't you get the first down? And he gets the first down! What is happening to this defense? It is dying. I changed my tune. It's the defense's fault more. <laughs> Grab his dick and twist it. Oh, dick twist! Oh, this is MMA. Is that what he said? He says something like that. Screen pass. Yo! Kill him! That's a touch. Yep, touchdown. Saw it all the way. Couldn't do it, of course. Is that Edwards? I mean, that's... Once again, I, I mean, this offensive line, dude. We were talking about how good they were before the game started. They have been awful. I don't know what Jacobs is doing. I get he has to cover the left, but he's got to be aware there. Actually, I can't even blame him. That guy broke through a double team. That's not, that's not Gamera's fault. He shouldn't know that that's happening. That's a bit of a shallow route by Deshaun, but he ended up recovering on it, going upfield for the first. There you go, Deshaun. Good catch. Good play. Is there any, like, play where you can get... Yeah, something like this. Need something crossing over the middle. Come on, Foster. Whoa! Somebody kill this man. That's a GG. I did not think Foster Moreau was getting down to that. In real life, probably number three. Damn it, dude. What, what are these angles? And Tanner Muse is not going to get him. Wow, that is not a close game. There goes Edwards for a nice gainer. I will say, I mean, some of our guys have looked all right today. It's just, you know, at times with that Saints secondary, they've they've locked up, which, I mean, it makes sense. We should have just kept going to mixing it up. The play-action game was working really well for us. The ground game was working well. And then we got a little bit of a... Uh, we gave up a little bit of a lead, and then we kind of just went away from it. Underneath, Foster Moreau has been crushing it, dude. Like, he is... I mean, he's kind of made Demario Davis look bad. And I know there's a lot of interceptions, a lot of missed throws, but, I mean, McKenzie really isn't at the blame for most of this, so... I mean, it is what it is. I mean, look at this pressure, dude. I mean, we figured they were going to bring a lot, but they did drop off a lot as well, so... Them getting that kind of pressure instantly is just unforgivable. McKenzie going to extend the play with his legs again... And even though he tries to slide, he kind of gets held up by 12. I do not want to throw pick number three, or four. No way, dude! That is Lattimore, actually. And Jesus. We took a long time. I saw why, whoever the hell that was. It might have been Deshaun, actually. Breaking free behind. But somebody cut up field. Literally doubling them up. Like, if he would have just not cut up field as a touchdown to number to number Y? Letter Y. Was it Waller? I think it was Waller, dude. He should not have stepped up at all. Stay in your lane and, and number... It's not a number, it's a letter, dude! The color yellow was scoring. But of course, uh, not the performance we were looking for. Yay, let's celebrate with the guys that destroyed us! Can we get rid of that animation, please? I don't like this cutscene. It's terrible. Uh, looking at the difference, once again, I mean, very close in yardage and all that. We just had way too many turnovers, and they made every opportunity count. All of the yards, I would imagine, were touchdowns. Pretty much all of them. All of our yards, not even close. And I don't even know if we've scored any points in the second half, did we? I, it wouldn't even surprise me if we didn't. I would not be surprised. Let's see. That's awful. No points in the second half. A competitive first half. That's just disgusting behavior. That is absolutely disgusting. 
McKenzie and his picks, they weren't bad throws. It was just bad decisions for the majority of the part uh, of the time. A lot of the, you know, bad throws were just, you know, wide open four or five yard throws. So McKenzie still gets to start. The four picks are just an anomaly. But obviously if he starts, you know, if those bad throws uh, start leading to actual picks, then maybe we add all that together and, you know, look for maybe Trubisky to start. We'll see. Troutman crushed us. I don't think we need a new wide receiver to Sean Jackson with 86 yards, not quite to 95 or 100. Um, but yeah, a pretty good game for him. I don't think we need a wide receiver. We'll see. Uh, but defensively, maybe we trade for a linebacker. I think you can at the very least replace Littleton. And then uh, if we get someone good enough, we maybe move Kwiatkowski over to Littleton's spot and then you know work from there. But overall, uh, just not a you know, not a good performance. I think there was a few things on offense that we could have changed to make it better, specifically with the line just not blocking well enough on pass plays, which got us in situations where we couldn't run. And maybe we should have started more drives out with runs and obviously, we have to just tackle. I know hit sticks are super intriguing because we've been a really big hitting team that can force the ball out at any time. But overall, uh, you got to just take the tackle, especially when there's no help. If there's help, maybe you go for the hit stick. But if there's no help, you got to bring them down because uh, you never know. If it's all the way down to the 10, you could get a pick right there. Pick six. It changes the entire game. But if they score a touchdown, it's too late. You know, the best you can do is equalize on the other side, which obviously we didn't do well at all. So realistically it's the biggest thing is just taking what you can get whether that's tackling someone in the open field without hit sticking or going crazy uh, or if it's on offense run the ball throw it to whoever's open right away do whatever you can and uh, we obviously just did not do that as we lost 42 to 13 an absolute rolling uh, we do have an upgrade for mckenzie which we're gonna go back to improviser because that seems to be like the move and we obviously like to roll out with them anyways throw power throw power throw power Two throw short, two, one to medium, two to break sack, one throw under pressure. The pressure is what we need the most. I mean, I'm trying to go for speed as well. I mean, overall, not a bad upgrade. And then Josh Core, he's hardcore. He's goaded down to the core. Plus two to kick accuracy. Puts him at 60. What a god. But yes, under 500 for a second time this season. And could it stay that way for a while with some tough opponents coming up? An offense that just seems incapable of scoring and a defensive line that just doesn't seem to have the juice or enough juice to get to the quarterback. Things have been getting a lot more interesting around here, but I still think we can get it back on track and hopefully that starts I'm going to be honest, with maybe the Chargers, obviously we're going to give it everything we got against the Cardinals, but man, I can't lie if I'm going to say that I feel worried. But anyways, I hopefully, uh, you know, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, maybe leave a like, subscribe if you're new. If you're not new, appreciate your continued support. Maybe follow me on Twitter, Jumpy Care, second channel, PK Plays, and then twitch.tv slash Jumpy Care for a stream tonight around probably about 10 p.m. Central Standard Time, maybe 10 10. I'm a little late at times. But that's about it. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, you guys come back for next video. But until next video, which will be two tomorrow, see ya!